Okay, just a quick update on the compressor. Um, after a few comments and help on my last video, um, I figured out what the red valve does and how to make it, how to change the pressure coming out of the out the end and out of the tube, and also how to stop it. So I thought I'd just quickly show you guys how to do that because I saw a few people were confused about it, and um, it's just added to the last video because I suppose I kind of got it wrong. I was talking about using one of these ball valves to stop it, which you could still do, and I'm still going to probably use it to stop the pressure coming out, out of the end and to isolate the, the tool at the end so you can change it easier. So if you just take turn the red valve on the towards the minus side, you'll see that you turn it out far enough, the pressure needle starts to drop and once it's at zero you see that nothing comes out at the end and you can change the tool without having the pressure behind it um, so that's that but also if you were to tighten this or loosen it until the needle let's say got to 60 psi so I've tightened or loosened that valve until that needle has hit 60 psi right there. Um, that then ensures that the air that comes out the end is 60 psi. So that's how you then change it for your different tools. For instance, spray guns use a certain psi. So that's how you, um, so if you change the knob on there, it will change the psi that comes out at the end. So that's another thing that someone someone said about and that's that's very helpful thank you very much um, so that's how you change that and that's how you also isolate the end tube here so I should add on from the last from the last time as I kind of didn't understand how to work that properly so that's how that works and you can obviously just change it and put it and tighten it all the way to bring it to maximum psi which is what you've got in the tank, kind of. So that's that's that. That's how you work the mysterious red valve. Um, so thank you very much, and goodbye.